Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige for those of you who are new here. For my subscribers, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about DNA. A lot of people have asked me about DNA kits and where they can get DNA tests because I mentioned it in some of my other videos. Specifically, I think my story video, which has gotten, I think, close to 90,000 views. So a lot of people have reached out to me asking what DNA test did I take and how they can get more information about their health beyond that DNA test. So I wanted to talk briefly about that and also talk about a product that relates to DNA testing that I thought was really cool. But I'll first start with how you get a DNA test. So there are a couple different ways to do it. Um, I know a lot of companies are offering it. They're getting more competitive with their pricing, so it's much more reasonable than when I bought a DNA test a couple years back. Um, right now, I think you can get it for maybe $100 or something like that, maybe even less. But you could get one through Ancestry or 23andMe. I'll post links in my description. They basically just send you a box in the mail that has like a spit test. You spit in it, send it back. You answer a little qu couple of questions just so that they can, I guess, like sort your data a little bit more efficiently. And then they give you this big, big report uh, for all health issues you may potentially have or risks and stuff like that. And then they give you the option to connect to their... I guess community of people to see if you relate to anybody so you could find your relatives. So those were two fun things that I got to explore and through that, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but my mother actually found her biological family. She was adopted in a private adoption and that's actually what led us to 23andMe in the first place. So we were able to not only find out all this information about our health and risk factors and stuff like that, but also find my mom's biological sister, her brothers and just everyone. It was just absolutely incredible. I talk about that in another video, so if you guys want to see that and even see the trip that we made out to go meet that family, I'll post it in the link below. Um, but yeah, so I basically did my DNA test, I got my results, and then I realized that I was able to take my raw data. Really, it just breaks down into a bunch of numbers. And then you could take that data and upload it to other platforms. So as I was exploring different platforms for DNA, I found a custom vitamin company that creates vitamins based on your DNA and even skincare products based on your DNA. And I thought that was awesome, so I had to try it out. So I actually reached out to the company to see if they would actually send me some products for free so I can review it. And I thought, you know, if I like it, I'll share it with my subscribers. And if I don't like it, then I just won't share it. And I'll just consider it like a test. And I've been on these vitamins for the last three weeks and I can honestly tell you that it's incredible the results that I've had by taking these vitamins. I'm blown away by it so yeah so that's why I'm doing this video in the first place is because this stuff is so good that I thought it was really worth sharing. So um, just to go back a little bit Getting these vitamins, you just basically go on their site and you fill out a questionnaire, then you upload your raw data and they're able to some, I guess, look at your question answers and then compare it to your DNA and kind of find where your issues lie. So for example, if somebody like me is 31 year old female complaining about memory issues and I say that my number one issue is focus and you know, just cognitive impairment and stuff like that. That's like my main focus. That's something that is number one. Number two is fatigue. Number three is weight loss and appetite control. They take that and then they look at your DNA and they see, well, she has this risk factor that could be contributing to the problem she has here. Okay, now she's complaining about fatigue and this kind of issue. Maybe that relates to the fact that she has this gene that can cause an issue like fatigue. So by taking this supplement, this supplement will help her with that issue because it's helped other people who have that issue and that gene. So I don't know if that sounded crazy, but that's how I believe it works. So they look at those two different things, your questionnaire and your DNA test, and then they could kind of figure out which supplements will work best on you based on tons of data, other people's studies, and stuff like that. So when I got my box in the mail, I was kind of like, I was a little skeptical. I don't know if I said this in this video, but I had about two months where I felt really sick. I wasn't doing well. I was really foggy headed, really depressed, and I had horrible allergies. My allergies were so bad that I couldn't even stay at my parents' house. I had to go and stay at a hotel, which was crazy like for me to have to do that because they were that bad. Like I couldn't even breathe in their house. And I had head pain, like the back of my head by the base of my skull was aching all day for days. And then I started taking these vitamins and within like 24 hours I felt so much better. And every day that I've been taking these vitamins, I feel more and more like myself again. So there's obviously stuff in these vitamins that I need in my diet and I have not been getting. So one of those things is B12 and B6. I don't get enough of that in my diet. I've been vegan for seven years 
and I think about four years ago I got tested and I didn't have any issues with the B12 so I assumed I was getting enough of it in my diet so I didn't do anything about it and so if you're a vegan out there it's definitely important to keep track of your B12 levels and make sure that you're good because I think that that was a major contributor to why I was feeling so sick so other than that I think that all the other vitamins and supplements in this pack have been really helpful so everything here is great I don't feel sick I don't feel uneasy I don't feel like I don't feel any kind of bad feeling. Sometimes when I take a multivitamin, it gives me like a sick feeling. Um, other times it's just too much and I get like stomach aches and stuff. So this has really been fine for me. Whatever it is, if they maybe they customize the amounts or something, but it's the perfect amount for me and I'm doing very well with it. It's in a box that looks like this. It has this cute little design on it and it says a little right there. Inside it has your vitamins. Mine are these three and I'll just read you which ones I got. This one is the MTHFR aid. It supports metabolic processes and energy production. This one is ZN30 balance. It supports balanced immune system response. And this one is Metabon. It supports a healthy metabolism and manages appetite. So this one being the Metabon one, I was kind of hesitant because I was worried that it was going to be a diet pill and I don't want to take anything that's diet pill related. I don't believe in any of that. And it's usually just speed related type of chemicals that make you feel really uneasy but this is actually not what that is this is something called relora it's an herbal supplement and it's also known as magnolia officinalis bark and this has been used for hundreds of years in chinese medicine for anxiety positive mood and i guess just like alleviating depression um, it's been very effective for people in china and i guess it's making its way over here but it's also good for metabolism and appetite, which is kind of wild because originally um, Adderall, when it was Orbitrol and it's, I guess it's been repurposed throughout the years, was originally used for appetite control and weight loss and it ended up being used for narcolepsy, um, mood disorders, and attention disorders. And so sometimes certain supplements work in one way, but it also works in other ways. So for this one, it was originally cre created and used for energy and mood, depression and anxiety, and it also affects your metabolism. And sometimes, you know, people that I guess get depressed or anxious may over overeat. Some people might even not eat at all. So I guess there's some correlation there. I don't really know too much about it, but I do know that it's definitely helping me. Um, I've had issues with my metabolism. I've also had issues with thyroid in my DNA. Um, my mom has hypothyroidism and it's been really bad for her. So I definitely have an issue there. So this is very helpful. Um, I also overeat. So I'm trying to control that. And this is definitely helping me. So the next one is MTHFR aid. It supports metabolic processes and energy production. And this one was really, really amazing to see because I didn't really give too much information in my Q&A about myself and the issues I've had for my whole life. This was actually like a big surprise to actually see this because this seems to be the thing that would tackle issues like ADD and ADHD. It's specifically formulated for individuals with a single nucleotide polymorphism in one or more genes involved in the process of methylation in the body. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Methylation is the process of turning on and off switches that control a variety of processes such as fight or flight response, immune response, repair of damaged cells, production of glutathione, detoxification of metabolic waste. This one is important to me. Neurotransmitter metabolism, energy production, and genetic expression. So the fight or flight response and neurotrans neurotransmitter metabolism is extremely important to me. So I don't know if this is the issue that led to my ADD and the issues I had growing up. But I've mentioned in other videos that I do have an issue with fight or flight response and I definitely have an issue with neurotransmitter metabolism, um, which is probably why medications like Adderall and Ritalin were so effective for me in the, in the old days. Um, without taking medication, I do have issues with controlling my adrenaline. It's like I get adrenaline rushes very quickly and I get very flighty very quickly. So I get startled easily and when I'm startled, I feel like running. It's like a horrible thing that happens when I'm trying to enjoy myself. I can do things like be in a car with somebody else driving, I get very like flighty and also when I'm hiking, I get very nervous. So um, I noticed that I'm not feeling as anxious and apprehensive and I think this could be helping that. Um, so that's really cool. The last one is the ZN30. It's the immune system response. And this one is for um, a single nucleotide polymorphism in zinc metabolism and immune system regulation. When I got a DNA test, not DNA test, but when I actually did a test at my doctor's office years ago, they said that I might be susceptible to having low zinc. So I started eating things like nuts and seeds that I knew had zinc in it. But there's times where I just don't take care of my health properly, like unfortunately, like there were two months ago. And... Um, I might have not been getting enough zinc, but my allergies got so ridiculously out of control 
that I had to stay at a hotel. So I was such a mess that I I was just hopeful that this would work for me. And I can tell you, and other people can verify for me, I wish that you could even ask them, but my allergies have like almost gone away. The only time I have it is when I wake up. I have a little bit of a sniffle like in the morning, but it's nothing like it was. I'm talking like I couldn't breathe in people's houses. I had to stay in hotels and stuff like that. And even in the hotels I was suffering. So I'm way better, and I think this could be to blame. Beyond taking these supplements, I have done a couple of other things to make my health improve, which is like very simple things, but I do think that this is really at the top of the list. So take this and then add that to intermittent fasting, where I fast up until 12 p.m. I also wake up early and work out right away. So instead of waiting all day and working out at the end of the day, I work out in the morning at like 7 to 9 a.m., sometime between that. Um, I sprint, and I do things that like I guess boost dopamine levels and also like boost testosterone and adrenaline and just get me kind of like pumped. Um, I noticed that that really sets me on a good path for the rest of the day. Also by not eating till 12, I have a little bit more control and I feel more, I guess, focused and not distracted. Like sometimes I wake up in the morning and I just want to eat chocolate right away. I've been much more in control and so taking intermittent fasting, eating clean, um, waking up and working out and taking vitamins and my whole entire health is in a positive direction. So. That's that. I thought this was a really great product. I was excited to share it with you guys. Um, I couldn't wait to do this video, but I wanted to take these vitamins for as long as I could. So I've been taking them for like three weeks now, and it's really, really been helpful. So I'll post a link in my description to the DNA test. I'll also link to the vitamin um, company, and um, I'll link to anything else regarding DNA or my other videos talking about overcoming ADD, my vegan story, and stuff like that. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope it helps somebody out there. It's been extremely helpful for me to try stuff like this and learn more about myself through DNA, so I hope it helps you guys too. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!